Hi everyone, I am going to show you how to make these adorable witch gnomes. You can turn them into ornaments or even pencil toppers if you like. They are super addictive. They take about 15 minutes to make and you probably have all the supplies that you need on hand. Most of the supplies that I'm using are just scraps from other projects including scrap yarn and scrap felt and some leftover wooden beads. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how to make these. So these are all the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need some felt, some scrap yarn, you're going to need some twine if you want to turn it into an ornament, and then you're going to need something to trace a circle for the witch's hat. So I have two little mixing bowls here. This mixing bowl is about two and a half inches wide, and then this mixing bowl is about um, a little under five inches wide. So we are going to use those to draw circles into our felt and that's how we're going to make our witch hat. You'll also need a little strip of a half an inch by about six inches of felt for um, the band around the witch's hat. And then for the buckle, just two little squares. It's probably about an inch and a quarter of an inch um, for the buckle. Okay. You will also need a wooden bead. This is a 12 millimeter bead, but any between like 12 millimeters and 14 millimeters will work. That translates into a half inch wooden bead. I am going to um, trace my large circle just with, I have this white um, pencil. Anything that will show up on your felt will work. We're not going to actually see that line, so it doesn't matter if it, you know, stains the fabric because this is going to be the underside of the hat anyway. So after I trace my five inch diameter circle. I'm just going to go ahead and cut um, the circle out with my scissor. And then once I'm done cutting out this large circle, we can move on to the hat brim. And I'm going to take the little two and a half inch um, circle there. And I'm just going to trace that just like I did with a larger circle. And then I'm going to cut that out as well. Now I'm going to take my larger circle and I'm going to fold it in half. And then I am going to cut it right down the center, just like this. This is a nice, easy way to just get the midway point. I'm going to fold my half circle in half, and I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm just going to cut right down the middle, right on that fold there. And then this is going to give me a quarter of the circle, which is all we need to make the cone of the hat. So you can actually make four um, which hats with that one large circle, or at least the cone for the witch's hat. Then I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm just going to add a strip of glue right down along the edge. I'm going to leave the very tippy top about a quarter of an inch with no glue. And you'll see why in a second we're going to run our um, little loop for the gnome's hat through there. So I'm just going to make sure that that um, hat is open. So I'm just taking my pointy tool and I'm just going to um, press that through there to make sure that I can get my darning needle um, through with the little loop that we're going to use later to um, make the ornament hook for the gnome. Now I am taking the smaller circle, I folded it in half, and I'm just going to cut right in the center about just maybe about a half an inch. And then I'm going to go ahead and make little like pie slices that are each about a half of an inch. And I'm just going to go around and add about, I think it's five, um, five little pie slices here. And you'll see why we do this in a second, because this is going to be the opening of the hat's brim where we're going to attach the cone. Um, and because it's a circle, if you just cut it straight, it wouldn't sit flat on the cone. So you have to um, leave those little raggedy marks there. Then I'm going to take a strip of glue and I'm just going to run that around the center of um, my little circle there, which is the brim of the hat. And I'm going to attach the cone right on top of it. And then I'm going to just press it down into the hot glue. It's okay if it's a little messy at this stage. And then I'm going to carefully just press those little pie slices into the edge of the hat so that the hot glue catches it. And I'm going to use my pointy tool there to help me as well if the glue is too hot and I don't want to hurt my fingers. And then when the glue cools down, I can stick my finger in there and just get a nice little hat shape. So we have some glue 
on the hat, but that's okay. I'm going to show you how we fix that in a second. Now we're going to add the ornament hook. So I'm taking a piece of twine. This is probably about eight inches long. I'm going to knot it about two or three times just to make sure that it doesn't slip through the top of the hat when we add the yarn. I'm going to take my darning needle and I'm just going to run the strand of yarn up through the top of the hat. And then I'm going to um, take that yarn or that twine and I'm going to run it back down into the hat. And this is how we're going to form the little loop. So just take the yarn, go right back through, make sure that the loop is sticking out of the top of the hat when you come back through. And then you're just going to tie a little knot here. I'm going to knot this maybe about two times and then I'm going to pull the loop. And now we have a securely attached ornament hook to our hat. Okay, so our hat still looks a little raggy. It's got some glue stains, but we're going to cover it with this little piece of felt. This is a half an inch by um, about, this is eight inches, but you really only need about five and a half to six inches. So I cut it a bit long. I'm going to just add some glue along the edge of the hat, like where the cone meets the brim. And then I'm just going to attach the little um, strip right there. And that's going to cover the hot glue mess <laughs> that we made when we attach the brim to the hat. And then it's also going to give us this cute little um, band for the witch's hat. And it's going to add some color and just pop to our little um, Halloween witch gnome. So I'm just going to slowly go around the edge of the hat and carefully attach the brim. Maybe I'm going about an inch at a time just to make sure that um, the little band is adhered nicely. And then when I get to the end, I have some overlap and that's okay. I'm just going to cut that off and then just glue down the little um, end there. And I'm doing that on the back side so that this won't show. We're only going to really see the front side of the little um, witch's hat. So I'll put all of my seams in the back. And that's what the hat looks like so far. Now we need to decorate it a little by adding a buckle. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my other two little um, felt squares. This is probably about maybe three quarters of an inch. Um, and then this little guy is about a quarter of an inch. And you can use any colors that you like. Um, it would be nice also to, if you have um, like gold or yellow felt, you can make like a nice gold buckle. And then I just attach that to the center front of the hat. And then we have our little witch hat. So it's all done. And now we can move on to the witch's hair. So I'm going to take a flat notebook. It's about six inches and I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to wrap it around this six inch notebook about 25 times. And then I'm just going to cut it on one end and then I'm going to lay it flat. And then I'm just going to cut that little bundle of yarn strands right in the middle. And the reason for this is we need about 56 inch strands of yarn. So this is just a real simple way to cut that many strands um, all at once. So we basically wrapped it um, around a six inch surface which gave, which gave us 12 inch strands of yarn. And then we just cut it down the middle and then that gives us the right size of the six inches that we need. I just pulled a little strand out from that bundle and we're going to tie it around the center here. Um, and I'm just going to tie that really really, really tight. And this is going to help to keep our yarn together. And it's also going to help to um, form the beard and the hair. And I'm just going to knot that. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to turn my little bundle over and then double knot it again and just pull nice and tight. And I'm trying to get it right in the center. And I'm a little bit off center, but that's okay because I can just grab it and just pull a little bit to just get it to center. And then once um, I feel like I've got it centered properly. I'm just going to pick up the bundle and just put it in my hand like a mop, right? So I'm just going to hold it with that little bead right in the center. And I'm going to add um, a bunch of glue right around the top of the little mop head that I've just created in my hand. And I'm going to stick the hat right on top of the mop head. And that is going to give us our little gnome. So I'm just going to press the hair against the edges of the hat just to adhere it. 
and it looks good to me. I don't even think we're going to have to shape this um, beard with any of our, uh, with our scissors. I'm going to take a wooden bead and just add a little dollop of glue right um, at the top. And then I'm just going to press it right underneath the brim of the witch's hat. If you wanted to color this, you could take, I have um, any coloring medium that you want and color it in. I use Posca pens. Um, it's an acrylic based um, paint that works well on wooden beads. So I did that for the little gnome up in the right hand corner. Um, for just to finish the gnome off, I'm just going to go around the edges of the hat and just make sure that the hair is securely attached so that it doesn't fall apart. And then once I have a good grip on all edges of the hat and my nose is in place, that is going to do it. So we have our little witch gnome ornament. Um, you could also make these into like little backpack charms or you could add a keychain to it and make it a keychain. Um, I've also made some pencil toppers. So here's one right here. If you'd like to learn how to attach it to a pencil, um, you can just click um, this video right here on the screen and that will show you how to um, make a pencil topper. And then I just um, really had fun with this and I had a bunch of scrap yarn from some hats that I had made last winter. So I just grabbed those up. So we have a little pink and purple gnome and I gave her a little pink beaded nose. And then I had some charms from another project. So I added a charm to the little purple hat gnome. Some of the noses I just left plain, some I decorated. So this one, I used a dark green Posca pen and then just dotted it with that light green pen just to make it interesting looking, which you could also use um, colored beads or decorated beads for the nose if you want. And then here I used a super bulky sized yarn for the beard. The other um, sized yarn that I'm using is pretty much worsted weight or heavy worsted weight for all the other gnomes. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this project, everyone. I hope that you go out and make tons of little Halloween witch gnomes. They're so much fun. I just learned how to make these today and I made eight in about two hours. So um, it's really a great stash buster project and it's a great project if you just need to make a lot of gifts very quickly. So have a great day and I really hope that you um, make some Halloween gnomes. See you in the next video.